Assuming that our solar system is not unique, we should expect to find other intelligent life forms in the universe. However, despite our best efforts, we have yet to detect any sign of extraterrestrial existence. This silence is unsettling and raises the possibility that alien civilizations do exist, but for some reason they have chosen not to reveal themselves. This could be a concerning scenario because it suggests that they may be aware of our presence, but have reasons for remaining hidden. This prospect should give us pause and concern The Fermi Paradox is a question that asks why, if intelligent life is common in the universe, we haven't yet encountered any evidence of it. Although the term is named after physicist Enrico Fermi, he didn't dedicate much of his work to studying extraterrestrial life. Instead, the idea of the paradox arose from a conversation Fermi had with colleagues at lunch, sparked by a cartoon depicting aliens stealing trash cans from New York City. Fermi's question, where is everybody, referred to the lack of solid evidence for alien visits to Earth. The discussion then turned to the possibility of interstellar travel, and Fermi suggested that either it may not be possible, not worth the effort, or that technological civilizations may not last long enough to invent it. It's important to note that Fermi made his comments in 1950, a time when rockets had not yet even reached Earth's orbit. The Fermi Paradox, which questions the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations, actually misrepresents Fermi's views. He did not doubt the possibility of alien civilizations, only their ability to achieve interstellar travel. So, who created the Fermi Paradox? In 1975, astronomer Michael Hart wrote an article in which he claimed that since we have not seen any signs of intelligent life, it is likely that humans are the only intelligent beings in our galaxy. Hart believed that if aliens existed, they would have already colonized the Milky Way. But then, physicist Frank Tipler expanded on Hart's ideas in 1980 and asked the question of where a civilization would get the necessary resources to colonize billions of stars. Tipler proposed an intriguing solution to the Fermi paradox suggesting that a civilization could build an artificially intelligent machine capable of replicating itself. By sending this machine to neighboring stars and instructing it to build copies of itself using local materials, it could be sent to other stars, resulting in the galaxy being filled with self-replicating machines. Since we haven't yet observed any of these machines, Tipler believed that we may be the only intelligent civilization in the galaxy. However, it's impossible to know how many advanced alien civilizations could exist and pull off such a feat. Frank Drake developed an equation that provides an estimate of the number of civilizations in our galaxy that could potentially be detected through signals, and the number could be in the thousands. Over the years, various solutions to the Fermi paradox have been proposed. The Dark Forest Theory, written by Chinese science fiction writer Liu Sixin, is a possible solution to the Fermi paradox that some people find particularly chilling. It suggests that the universe is like a vast dark forest, with advanced civilizations like ours being the hunters. Hunters in a dark forest do not light torches to avoid drawing attention to themselves, as being noticed could attract the attention of other competing hunters or even the jaws of a hungry predator. Similarly, in the universe, advanced civilizations may avoid signaling their presence to avoid attracting the attention of potentially hostile or competitive civilizations. While interstellar travel is not yet possible, Communication across vast distances is feasible with current technology, and lasers can be used to send signals across the galaxy. However, there will be delays due to the limitations of the speed of light. The passage discusses how humans have been actively transmitting signals into space through various means, including intentional messages and unintentional leaks from radio and TV signals. The Voyager probes have also been launched into space, potentially carrying humanity's information and existence with them. 
This is in contrast to the idea of the dark forest theory where advanced civilizations would try to remain hidden in a vast universe to avoid detection by potential competitors or predators. The passage concludes by quoting Arthur C. Clarke, who noted that both possibilities, being alone in the universe or not, can be equally terrifying. It's true that we cannot predict the intentions of any alien civilization that we might encounter in the future. However, it's important to keep in mind that the idea that an advanced civilization might see us as a threat and therefore decide to wipe us out is based on a very human-centric view of the universe. It's possible that an alien civilization could have very different priorities and values than we do and might not see us as a threat at all. Additionally, the idea that an advanced civilization would want to help us reach the stars and become an interplanetary species assumes that they would have the desire to do so and that our values and priorities would align with theirs. It's also important to remember that any advanced civilization that we encounter would likely be far more technologically advanced than we are, which means that they would have a significant advantage over us. It's difficult to predict what might happen in such a scenario, but it's important to approach the idea of contact with an open mind and a healthy dose of caution. The passage discusses the possibility that in the event of a first contact with an alien civilization, it might be in our best interest to attack first to avoid being destroyed. The author notes that no one knows who would annihilate who in such a scenario. It's likely that a civilization with interstellar travel capabilities would have more advanced weapons technology than we do on Earth. The passage also mentions the dark forest theory which suggests that other civilizations may have chosen to remain silent for fear of being destroyed. The author notes that we have been very noisy in our attempts to contact extraterrestrial life and it's possible that other civilizations are aware of our existence but have chosen not to transmit signals like we have. It's possible that an intelligent alien civilization which has discovered Earth doesn't view us as a threat since we haven't yet developed the technology for interstellar travel. But they may be observing us to see if we continue to be peaceful or if our planet becomes uninhabitable. However, it would be difficult for them to prevent unintentional radio signal transmissions from Earth unless they possess an advanced communication system beyond our understanding. Another possibility is that there might not be any other intelligent civilizations out there. Although with as many as 40 billion Earth-sized planets in habitable zones, it seems unlikely. However, there is no guarantee that these planets will remain habitable long enough for life to evolve. A recent study from Australia National University suggests that planets like Earth, which are wet and rocky, are not stable when they are first formed. In order for alien life to evolve and thrive on such a planet, there is a limited window of just a few hundred million years to get everything moving. Our own planet has gone through many changes, from a ball of lava being hit by asteroids to a frozen ball of ice, and then back again. The chances of life succeeding on an initially wet, rocky planet in the habitable zone are very slim. It's not that life might be rare or difficult to start in the universe, but that habitable environments are not stable during the first billion years. Despite this, we know from our own discoveries that the universe is a dangerous place. Life on a planet can be wiped out by events such as supernova, gamma ray bursts, solar flares, or huge asteroids. It's possible that Earth is the only planet with intelligent life in our galaxy or even in the entire universe. The conditions required for habitable planets are unstable in their early stages and even Earth has been through several catastrophic events that could have wiped out all life. It's also possible that other intelligent civilizations have existed in the past and no longer exist. There's no conclusive evidence on whether aliens exist or not. And the Fermi Paradox, which questions why we haven't detected any signs of intelligent life despite the vast size of the universe may not even be a paradox because we don't know if travel between star systems is possible. 
While the CIA declassified thousands of UFO documents, there was still not enough evidence to identify the objects caught on aircraft instruments. Perhaps there could be extraterrestrial beings present on Earth already, and we just haven't been able to detect them yet. However, regardless of whether we have been visited by extraterrestrial life or not, experts on the subject of unidentified flying objects, FOSS, claim that we are closer than ever discovering evidence of alien life. With the abundance of telescopes and other technologies used for observation, it's only a matter of time before we make a groundbreaking discovery. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you believe that we will soon find evidence of life beyond Earth? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news and discoveries from our universe. Thank you for watching.